Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September monthly reading. This is a general reading. We're going to see what comes up. September 2017 for the sign of Virgo. I have already pre-shuffled these. Well, there's definitely some changes on the horizon. I don't know when, but this this is the first week of September. And it looks like there's some kind of ignoring a problem, ignoring something, pretending something isn't as it is. But the truth is going to come out. Either you can't pretend anymore, something's going to become known, and you're going to have to do the right thing. It's going to take confidence. It's going to take courage. Um... And you have really nothing to worry about because you can handle it quite well. But it is going to cause a change, okay? Because it's just, it's causing chaos in your life right now. So you, you can't, whatever this is that you're pretending, the truth is going to come out and you need to do the right thing for you, okay? You absolutely need to do the right thing. Just be honest and everything will turn out fine. It is going to take confidence, though, to encourage, to, to, um, to let it go down you know to, to get the truth out there it's going to take confidence and courage but it's going to cause things um it's going to cause like good karma for you okay because when once you do that something good is going to happen something that you've been waiting for is finally going to come oh, so i'm not doing reversed i know how to do reversed i don't need to do reversed so i don't even want to hear it Karma. I mentioned the word karma, didn't I? Or I was thinking it in my head. Good karma. I was thinking good karma. And now you got the karma card. It, whatever, when this truth comes out and it takes some courage, it takes you, you know, something, you're going to have to reveal something, okay? Or you, something might be revealed to you that is going to, you know, cause some courage, cause you to have some courage. You know, it's going to cause you to let go of something. Whatever you've been sacrificing, it looks like it's, it's gonna, um, you're going to let go of it. Um, you're going to have some kind of awakening, a breakthrough that changes. There's going to be a change this week. It's going to be a breakthrough. It has to do with some kind of truth. Okay. Um, you do have a couple people. You have a Libra. You have a Libra a couple times. You have air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Um, you have Gemini a couple times. All right. You have Libra and Gemini a couple times. Um, you're about to go through a breakthrough anyway. If it's not this week, it may have happened already. But then again, I mean, this isn't a week. This is a month. So this could be whenever you watch the reading you know up to a month out even more i mean this is going to resonate for people at different times could have already happened either way um i see an unexpected choice in love okay this is an unexpected choice where all of a sudden something unexpected comes in and you weren't never intending to go in that direction ever not for a minute as in as a fact a matter of fact you were planning to go in another direction but you all of a sudden you can't okay so that's what this card is and it is it is karmically related so it's related to your karma all right could be with a fire sign leo sag leo aries sagittarius there's going to be a lot of attraction a lot um now it's something that's very exciting um But it's amazing because it's not really amazing. It looks like there's a couple different people here. Maybe you have to let go of somebody for this this to... Or maybe you have let go of somebody. You've let go of somebody from the past because you can't pretend that there, anything is going to come of it anymore. Is that what this is? That you finally realize that's your breakthrough? That you can't hold on to somebody anymore even if it's emotionally? Could be physically? 
somebody from your past. You can't pretend that they're ever coming back anymore. You can't ignore it and that you're ready to um, you're ready to open up. You're ready to surrender. You're ready to let go. You're, you're ready to um, shine again. Because I see change is coming and your wishes your wishes could be fulfilled. Alright, because it's something you've been waiting for. And it could be very unexpected all of a sudden. And that's what makes things change is all of a sudden this person shows up in your life and you're like, oh my God. I had my heart set on this guy from the girl, whoever it is, person from the past. Because, you know, I did and I was hoping that it was going to work out with them. But all of a sudden, this person meets eye to eye with you, and you're like, oh my god. Son of a bitch. And then you seriously have to let go. Two tens right here. I'm telling you what, with this karma card, it looks to me like something you're going to be letting go of somebody for a new happiness. That's what it looks like to me. Because there was, there's no more love in that situation with this person from the past. There's no more love. And you're ready for excitement. You're ready for vibrancy. You're ready to shine. You're ready for a new adventure. You're ready to let go of this. And I think maybe that's what the truth is up here. It's the honest, being honest with yourself. I probably forgot to zoom that in again, didn't I? Damn it. I'm not too good about that. I'm going to do another deck. Right on top of it. You have the opportunity for your wishes to be fulfilled, okay? This is supposed to be a general reading, not a love reading. I'm going to do a love reading September 1st through the 15th. But I see this is a week, this is a week, this is a month of um, letting go. You are, and I don't know if I put letting go on your last one or what. But this is a month, and this is burdens, too much. Can't carry it around anymore. Can't carry it around. The Ace of Wands right there, that's about new growth, new partnerships. It's lighting a fire. Somebody lighting a fire under your ass. Seriously, it's a very hot, hot uh, energy on fire. Somebody be like, you know what? I'm going to light a fire under that person's ass, under his or her ass, and get them moving because their life is at a stalemate right now. It's going nowhere. And it's time. And maybe that's you lighting the fire under your own ass. Anyway, you're about to have an awakening, an epiphany, a uh, breakthrough with that judgment card. And it is going to change things. And then your ships are, you're finally going to get to see everything you've been wanting in the distance. Instead of them being way, way out of sight, you might be able to see it closer. Oh my God, I, this was, that was big. This is a new chapter in your life. Congratulations. It's where you spin the wheel and you start something new. It's good fortune. It's good luck. It's your wishes being fulfilled. And you have your wishes being fulfilled several times now. Three times. Okay? Your wishes being fulfilled in the future. Okay? Because here something has been left behind. Something has shattered. Something was broken. And the person is gone. Instead of like in this other deck, my Rider weight deck, the person's still there. This person is gone. Not in the picture anymore. Yeah, it's broken. But that doesn't mean there's not somebody else. There is somebody unexpected. There is. Okay? And they're no longer so far out that you can't see them. All right? It's close. All right? But you might meet this person at a gathering, an upcoming gathering. 
So if you're going anywhere, make sure to be looking your best and feeling your best. Make sure that you um, are excited for the moment, okay? Show your vibrancy. All right, this person is very practical, um, responsible, stable, secure. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, just like yourself. Could be, could be an air sign, could be a fire sign. But I think um, that you definitely are moving in the right direction. All right, and I think there's good luck on the way, good fortune. This is the month of September where, you know, your wishes could be fulfilled. Because you make a stand, you 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 realize there's a stalemate of some sort. You realize there's a stalemate, and you take action. You take action. All right, we're gonna get one of these wisdom cards. What is it? Win vintage wisdom oracle. I see there's a lot of harmony. There could be so much as of, I mean, there's a lot of harmony in your life right now. There is. And I think it's because you have are bringing back your vibrancy. You're feeling very confident. Perhaps you're really letting go of somebody who hurt you in the past emotionally. It doesn't have to be a partner. It could be a family member. It feels like you're really letting go of something because it has been hindering your progress. You're really, really letting go. And that changes things. You realize something was broken, but you acknowledge it and you're moving on and you're offering your, or somebody is offering um, love to you unexpectedly. Maybe unexpectedly you've decided to open your heart to somebody else. Unexpectedly. There's unexpected love here. And there's healing and hope and happiness and commitment. Good luck, good fortune, stability, security, a lot of love. Reflection. We're going to get one of these other cards too. This is the Whispers of Love. And then I'm going to zoom it in. So this is a general reading. It's a time of renewal for you. There's a lot of hope for the future and there's good luck on the way. And I think there's unexpected love. It's either you offering to somebody or somebody offering it to you and, and you didn't ex ever see it coming. Do something for someone else. I'm going to zoom that in one more time. Okay. Reflection. In the privacy of her own company, a young woman is captured in a quiet moment of contemplation. Behind her, an ornate mirror is suspended in the air, but our subject has turned away, preferring to muse instead on her inner landscape of her thoughts. Her silk shawl is clasped modestly to her naked form, and her downcast eyes suggest her, her mind is far away in deep reflection. Purple violets chosen for their color and symbolism surround her, 
Because they bloom in February, violets are associated with love and renewal. I said renewal right before I pulled this out. Purple represents the crown chakra of the human aura and corresponds with enlightenment and liberation. The hurried pace of modern life can dictate that we make quick decisions, which sometimes result in costly mistakes. The pressure of juggling multiple responsibilities can lead some to feel their lives are on autopilot, yet paradoxically, a constant focus on getting things done can cause us to lose sight of what we are doing, and more importantly, why. The presence of this card invites you to step out of your realm of reaction and into the realm of reflection. Take a full view of your life as a whole. Witness how patterns emerge and how God has guided you. By reviewing past mistakes, you can gain clarity to why something did not work and evaluate whether change may be appropriate. Reflection is a vital component of our learning process and facilitates expanded awareness of our position and purpose in life. It requires focus, and focus requires that white and focus requires that wisely invest in making time for the transformational power of reflection. Read that one again. It required it. It required focus, and focus requires that wisely invest in making time for the transformational power of reflection. That's a good one. That one is do something for someone else. 41. I think that you probably already do, but I'm going to read it anyway. If I can find it. When we focus on doing something kind for someone else, we create an opportunity for our relationships to be re-energized. What can you do today to be considerate towards someone in your life? Small things can have a big impact. Imagine, imagine how amazing your life will be if you give emphasis to do kind, loving things for others. I think you already do that. But that's the card that came out, so that's the card it is. So that is what I have for you, Virgo. Um, that's for September. This is a general reading. I am going to do a love reading for the 1st through the 15th and the 15th through the 30th as well for September. So stay tuned. And as always, this may or may not resonate. This will resonate with some. It will not resonate with all. Thank you to all my subscribers, watchers, likes, shares, and all that jazz.